excuse me. For all oh, doubts dropping a palace himself. Doubt palace. Doubt palace. Doubt palace. There's the flaming weapons. There's the flaming weapons. Here comes the battle board. Here comes a battle board and the, the raiding cavalry come in from behind. I believe that thing is going up anyway. We got the carnivora coming out. That is nice. That is nice. That is nice. Doubt castle. Are we going to have a doubt castle? No, we are not going to have a doubt castle. Doubt palace rather. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. Okay, everybody. I'm so excited to be saying this. I'm so excited to be saying this. We're casting a game of doubts. We're casting a game of doubts on ancient mythology. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. For some reason, but it's not as exciting because he's playing Gaia for crying out loud. Why is doubt playing Gaia? This is so weird, man. Whatever. It is what it is. Doubt's playing Gaia here in the blue. Um, if you don't know who Doubt is, Doubt is the Lord, the Lord Doubt. Um, he's an, Doubt is an old Age of Empires 2 player. He is such an old Age of Empires 2 player. He was playing Age of Empires 2, and then he started playing Age of Mythology back in 0203, and then he went back to Age of Empires 2. So he is an old, old, um, old player. And he's still a top Age of Empires 2 player. So I'm a big, big, big fan of Doubt's. Um, I never really watched his old AOM games, um, but I'd heard his name for years and years and years. Um, he was obviously playing multiplayer before I hit the scene, but still. Yeah, anyways, um, so very, very excited to cast his game here. Also very excited to cast Sparks. Sparks is an old, old player as well. He's an old Dragonfire, actually. This is perfect that you showed up. By the way, Dragonfire, why didn't you sign up? Did you sign up? You should have signed up, man. Anyway, um really excited to be casting sparks as well uh because he's a really old player as well from brazil um a really old thor player he these days he usually plays um um, 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 um dragonfire did you sign up actually anyway he um sparks sorry lost my train of thought so sparks uh these days sparks still plays a little bit of um aom usually plays team games not not a lot of uh, 1v1s um, but still, he's a really good Thor player. He played in, he played in Fimblewinter 4? Or was it Fimblewinter 3? He played in Fimblewinter 3, my Fimblewinter 3 tournament. And he, um, you know, he did really well there. Really exciting to watch. So this is really cool. Also, he's doing the fun little, um, Dwarven Armory build. So on Retold, for every Thor Dwarven Armory, for every Armory upgrade that Thor researches, you get a free Dwarf. And you can see he has these two additional Dwarfs right here that he got from getting, um, Armory upgrades. So actually, let's, uh, let's jump over to his perspective real quick. I should find out what the hotkey is for doing that. Um, okay, so he upgraded the copper what, copper mail and copper shields upgrades in order to get those two. And then he's got, you know, this is a pretty... We've done this build plenty of times in the past. We've done this plenty of times in the past. You, yeah, go 10. Is it 10 onto food? Then back onto, back onto you know, dwarves onto wood, gold, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, Dow, be careful with your Oracle Dow. That is a favor generating machine right there. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how Atlantean gathers favor, um, it changed in Retold. Now, as as Oracles, as the Oracles line of sight expands, that's how Atlantean gathers favor now, which is a little bit weird. It is definitely a little bit weird. Um, anyway, so let's uh, let's 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 talk about the maps just here for a second. Really amazing gold mine for Sparks here at the back of his base. Back berries, back gold mine. Really great starting starting map here for um, Sparks. He is up through Forseti, by the way. He is up through Forseti, and we do have is that Oceanus? Yeah, okay. Oceanus for Doubt um, playing Gaia, and Forseti over here for our Thor player. Really good food back here. Check that out. Really, really good food back here. Also, he's got a decent Sparks has a decent gold mine here near his um near his uh which my bucket near his town center his settlement army improvements less uh cost less gold anvil of Hephaestus. that's a really good relic for doubt to pick up right there bravo bravo okay how about we take a look at doubt side real quick okay he's down here on this bottom side taking rhinos gazelles etc is he gonna go he's got a decent patch right here yeah. this is gonna be tough to see sparks's uh, color honestly he yeah. chose the gray color which i think competitively speaking it's a really good idea it can be difficult to see your own units on the minimap but similarly you can it's tough for your opponent to see units on the minimap so i really like that um yeah. sparks did that in all sincerity clearly it kind of shows that he's taking the game seriously and whatnot did beastie win first round he did yes goraki he did in fact, here, Goraki. 
bracket. Check out the bracket, man. There's a bracket for you. Getting a little bit of damage with his Ulfsark. That's interesting. Very interesting. Now it looks like Gaia's splurging off the map here. Cover your eyes. Okay, what is he going for? He's going for a Cairo, or sorry, Doubt is going for Counter Barracks right off the bat. Okay. Another Relic down here. Reduces the cost of advancing to the next age or researching the Secrets of the Titans. That's huge. I expect that Oracle to get that uh, Relic once he once his vision expands and he sees that. What is, uh, what is, what is Sparks doing? Sparks is going for just a couple of random Berserkers, really? What is that? He's going for Hall of Thanes as well. Forseti improves the whoops. Forseti improves the speed of all foot soldiers, especially Hersiers, and he's getting the Hammer of Thunder out, which is also going to um, improve the, his Hersier as well. So he's going for some kind of like weird Berserker, some Forseti Berserker. This is kind of like Odin style in all sincerity, going for like a Berserker Hersier type of a play with Forseti, whereas Doubt is going for Terma. That is a little bit of a mistake there, Doubt, in my opinion. Terma are not very strong in Retold, not at all. I mean, he's going for Military Barracks now. Um, okay, going for Military Barracks to, I guess, get Merms Mermillo out. Um, well, obviously, that's only what he's going to be building there initially. Okay, it does have a catapulties out there. You can see that. Yeah, going for these, going for the berserkers. I I like that, but there's not a lot of damage you can really get, you know, get done yeah. with berserkers early on. Um, you know, they're not that fast, and they have really bad pierce armor. 19% pierce armor. They have such bad pierce armor that actually maybe Terma is a decent enough decision here. Um, I don't think that Berserker spam and Ulfsark raiding is really going to be much of a thing here. And NWG Warriors playing Beastie. Vive la France, uh, says Hera. <laughs> Hera there. Hey, there's Hera. Uh, vive la France. I want to cast one of Beastie's game, Hera. So keep an eye on keep an eye on what Beastie's doing. I want to. I definitely want to um, cast one of his games. I hope we get access to record a game so we can just cast, 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 cast all day. The games don't even have to be live. We can cast record games as well. It don't matter to me. Okay, so he is mixing in some raiding cavalry now. I like that. He started off with the berserkers out of his longhouse, and he swapped over to the Great Hall, of course. Troll is back uh, back home. Okay. Well, so not not a lot of damage has been done. Honorio, what's up? Nice see me on retold. Of course, man. Of course, of course. Um, he's done a little bit of eco damage here, but you know, nothing You're super my crazy. Hero! Oh. Dragon, is that you? <laughs> Bro, quit changing your name, man. I can't keep track of you. <laughs> Actually, I can keep track of you. I can keep track of you and your bit. <laughs> What's up, Rob? What's up, Rob? Okay, anyway, yeah, I, in my opinion here, Doubt's going for his back TC. I like it, I like it. Going for a second TC. He's played plenty of defense here, honestly. I don't think Doubt has lost a single military unit. Whereas, Sparks definitely has lost several military units himself. So he has done like a teensy, tiny, teensy little bit of damage, but nothing, you know, nothing impressive. Not, not at all. Going for another little raid over here. A little bit of idle time. Again, a little bit of idle time, but really not a lot of damage here. Not a lot of damage here. Although at the top level, you know, um, forcing idle time on the economy is definitely a successful raid. Uh, but still, you, you, you know, I think Sparks has lost. He's he's lost a handful of units here. He's lost a handful of units, and he needs to be really careful. These catapulties are just going to completely smoke um, the the raiding cavalry. They are medium, however, medium raiding cavalry. And the town center is in. The town center is in. Nice. Terma melt uh, throwing axemen. Indeed. I mean, I guess indeed, but still, you're not going to make throwing axemen, you know, too terribly soon. At least not how this game has been. Um, going right, yeah. That Caladria, that Caladria is that the Caladria has a little special attack where it slows down a unit, which basically means a Caladria gives you a free unit pick, you know, here and there. Really awesome. Really, oh, I mean, really annoying, rather, is what I should have said. There goes another couple of another couple of units, dude. That bank. Yeah, there goes another couple of units, honestly, for um, for Sparks. So, Doubt's going to be in the eco lead. He's Gaia. He should absolutely be in the eco lead as Gaia, even though yeah, he's got nice upgrades. 
Even though Thor does, Thor has a good, Thor has a good economy as well. Yes, Thor has a good eco. The dwarves are nice. He gets some free dwarves and on and on and on. Um, but still, economically, the double town center is going to um, push out into the lead. That does open an opportunity, open a window, open a door for um, uh, for Sparks to maybe m invest more into army and do something with his army. But it's going to take some time. Look how much gold is. Oh, 600 gold is left in that gold mine. Actually, if Doubt is not careful, he's going to get gold starved. Doubt is famous um, for building a market in Age of Empires 2 and is selling resources. I don't see a market for him just yet. I don't see a market, but he is definitely accustomed to building a market and, um, you know, just trading, selling, trading resources where, where and when necessary. So, you know, he can survive even after his gold mine runs out. He can survive. This is a really interesting maneuver here. Check this out. All those berserkers building that forward town center, which I think is cool. It's going to help to protect this little area right here is Healing Spring, which is a really strong, it's a lot stronger. Healing Spring is a lot stronger than, um, um, than old Healing Spring. His gold mine is there. Catapelties running out on the other side of the map. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Pamara made in Tikanis, Dan. Tikanis. Himekala, Malaka. Kita, Tiejo, Kegoraki. Kita, Tiejo, Tinafta. 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 Luko Madesra. Lenina Poli Fresca. Freski? Fresca? Fresco? Fresca? Lenina Poli Fresco, Allah. Uh, then uh, they're not too old and there's the market okay so there's the market there's the market i think this is a small misplay here by sparks he's sending his raiding cavalry way up here okay sure he can maybe catch um some units right there on the gazelles but at this point in time he moved his gold miners and he should know what uh, like he should know the gold mine is the situation here man he gets a couple of kills sick spick sick sure sick is that broggy coming in Okay, we got Broggy coming in, which is really nice. Okay, we do have the Hesperius tree for doubt. Okay, he's got to stimper it out. He's going to make some dryads. Dryads cost wood. Wood. Dryads cost wood instead of gold. That is really nice because he does, he, you know, he still has a teensy bit of gold left over. JK, it just ran out. It just ran out. Okay. Dropping a couple more great hauls forward. Yeah, this is the game right here. I don't know if I don't know if Doubt is going to be able to hold this against a flaming weapons push. I don't know if he's going to be able to hold this, dude. Honestly, tournaments are too stressful for Dragon. <laughs> Sparks is losing his lead, indeed. But I really like this position here that he has. I really like that he's going ball. Uh, sorry, Broggy. I really like Broggy dropping a hill fort even, which I don't think is going to go up. He needs to be really careful though, because medium Cantarius, nice. Okay, these dryads are going to make things really complicated for, um, for, excuse me, for, oh, Doubt's dropping a palace himself. Doubt palace, Doubt palace, Doubt palace. There's the flaming weapons, there's the flaming weapons. Here comes the battle boar, here comes the battle boar, and the, the raiding cavalry coming from behind. I believe that thing is going up anyway. We've got the carnivora coming out. That is nice, that is nice, that is nice. Doubt castle, are we going to have a doubt castle? No, we are not going to have a doubt castle. Doubt palace, rather. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. Doubt Palace go, does go up, but the yeah. Flaming Weapons does come in. How many birds does he have? He only has one Stimpert right now. The the army from um, the army from Sparks is not super strong, but it's not like it's not like Doubt's army is super super. It, Doubt's army is a little bit weak. Is is you know kind of what it is honestly. The Doubt Castle is a little bit of a Doubt Castle. Doubt Palace honestly. He builds it. Ooh, he builds it. Oh jeez, he builds it, but it dies right away. Does that count as a Doubt Castle? Maybe a Doubt Palace rather. He's gonna lose all those citizens. He loses his palace. He loses his citizens he loses his army what else does he have sparks is maybe going to take this game man sparks is may maybe going to take this game remember 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 there is the market a there's the market b he's been on two tcs for some time c the hesperides tree makes dryads uh the myth units which cost wood um you know of course so the game is not over but by all means that was really nice that was really nice right there. That was really nice right there. Honestly, I think that Doubt is just not used to the not used to the flaming weapons push. I think Doubt Doubt being the Age of Empires 2 player, even though he played AOM years and years and years ago, um, he's still he's essentially relearning the game from the perspective of a new player. Um, 
He's, he's a top AoE 2 player, but by all means, a flaming weapons push like that, you definitely gotta prep for that shit. That's for sure. <laughs> I'll tell you, Goraki. Nasupo. Saspo. Saspo. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The goatee are in. The goatee are in. They're gonna be able to snipe those dryads really quickly. If he micros, if he micros. We got a bunch of battleboards in. This is looking really, really good for Sparks. I don't, I honestly don't really see how Doubt can really hold on here. He doesn't even have a gold mine, man. Will this be a big upset if Doubt loses? Not really, because Sparks is, Sparks is a good player himself. It won't be an upset at all. It's just a straight up good game. I think that Doubt, Doubt's a really good player, but he just is not used to the flaming weapons, man. It's really difficult to get used to the flaming weapons push when you can't prep for these kind of, not cheesy pushes, but the big power spiky pushes. If you can't prep for that, you're just going to have a bad time, man. You're just going to have a bad time, honestly. So it's not an upset, but, you know. And then, you know, he's still making his dryad, so the game ain't over just yet. But it's, you know, he's, he's definitely in a bad position. He needs to go and try and sneak gold somewhere else. In fact, this is a little bit, this map is a little bit of a bummer. If you look at the mini-map, here, let me make it bigger. That's what she said. If you look at the mini-map, there's the gold mines. There's one gold mine close to Doubt, and it's the one he just got pushed off of. The gold mines are not very good for Doubt, in all sincerity. They are not very good for Doubt whatsoever. How much, which is population at 69, population 71 to 130 for Sparks. The game is all bit over, in all sincerity, but still. And GG says Goraki. Probably, man. Probably. Sparks is on two town centers himself. He's, he does have that hill fort up. His eco's a little bit idle, but it doesn't really matter all that much right now. Doubty, doubty, doubt. What? <laughs> what? I think we have a sky passage, Gaia style. What is this? He's taking a town center over here and sneaking the gold mine. What a sneaky little snake! This game ain't over. The game is pretty over, but this game ain't completely over, I guess you could say. Doubty, 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 what have you done? What have you done? He's not even making anything. Come on, doubt. Get the Oh, he is making things, okay. Come on, doubt, get the get the He's going for Arcus. Arcus are good, man. Arcus are really good. They're little snipers, dude. They're they are really snipe. Uh, whoops. They they are little snipers, man. I need to fix something real quick. There we go. Fixed it. Okay, anyways. He's trying to go for some Contarius raids. He's, uh, this is really good what Dowd's doing. He's trying to distract. He's distracting Sparks, making Sparks play some, you know, defensively at this point in time. Um, I don't think this is enough to bring him back into this game, but he has to do something. It's a, it, it's single elimination, so if Doubt loses his game, he's completely out, right? Um, so he has to do something in order to try and stay in this game. So he's losing this position here. Town, town Center is going to go up for Sparks. He's losing this position here. Again, he's sneaking the gold, so he's still kind of in this. Kind of, kind of, kind of. He does kind of, kind of, kind of have an opportunity to come back into this. You know, realistically, not really, but, you know, you never know what can happen. You definitely never know what can happen. Um, Sparks, is a, Sparks is a really good player, though, so Sparks shouldn't drop this game. He shouldn't lose this game. But he is, hey, he is getting pushed back off of this position here, man. He's getting pushed back off this position. He's going to lose the resources from this town center. Ah, I'm telling you, man, he's got to be careful. Sparks is a good enough player. He should be checking the other gold mines. He really, really should be checking the other gold mines, honestly. I'm a little bit surprised that he isn't, honestly. Doubt is still in this, dude. Man, Goraki with the early GG. Possibly. I'm telling you, man, the, the dryads, the dryads cost wood. The Dryads cost wood and the Gaia Forest. You gather wood faster from Gaia Forests. Or Gaia Trees, Gaia Forest, whatever. Um, and so this is this is not too shabby. He's even taking another town center, man. He does have a house here on this gold mine, so he'll be able to see that. Same with over here. So Sparks does have vision on these two. Not this this gold mine though, but he has vision on this gold mine and that gold mine. No vision on this one, which is hilarious. And no vision on this one. So Doubt absolutely still has opportunity. And the Town Center does go up, but Doubt still absolutely has opportunity um, to stay in this game. It's... <laughs> Dude, it's three to three Town Centers right now. And look at the population. 185 for Sparks, which is huge, um, and 119 for Doubt. So Doubt is coming back into this. But, 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 but. 
Γεμιστά και φτεδάκια. Έχω, έχω στο ψυγείο γεμιστά. Δεν κάνω μια πλάκα. Δεν, κα, δεν κάνω μια πλάκα. Έχω δύο κομμάτια, νομίζω. Ένα ή δύο κομμάτια. Όχι, και αυτά. Γεμιστά και. Δεν κάνω, δεν κάνω μια πλάκα. Και, και Στέν, τι είναι, τι είναι, δεν είναι και φταίδες, τι είναι, λουκουμάδες είναι. Εντάξει, it's funny that we're speaking a little bit of Greek because we got Atlantean and Norse. Although I guess Atlantean, you can speak Atlant uh, Greek for Atlantean, it's kind of the same, right? That's one lucky, I don't think he played versus any Thor so far. Well, not very many players have been playing Thor at all. There's most of the players, although Doubt, Doubt's been kind of in the middle, kind of the upper, he's, Doubt has been playing around the 12, 1300 um, range, I suppose you could say. Let's watch this fight. Dude, the snipers, the, the Arcus snipers are so sick. Look at this fight. Are those heavy Ulf Jarls? Ulf Jarls? Are they, does that mean they're heavy? I can't remember. Does he have heavy? No, they're only medium Ulf Jarls. Big fight coming in here, man. The Huskarls are going to be really difficult um, for him to deal with. It looks like Doubt's army just getting smoked here. Jesus. Look at the... Yeah, look at the upgrades. Oh my god. Dragon scale shields. Yeah, this ain't his first rodeo, man. This ain't Sparks' first rodeo. <laughs> Now are we gonna have the TG? Probably not. Doubt's a fighter, folks. Doubt is a fighter. He's a fighter, but he's gotta get mythic at this point in time. To try and fight against this army, he needs fanatics. Right? He needs fanatics, but he ain't got them. The Husk girls are too difficult to deal with without fanatics. Bravo to Doubt for staying in this game. Bravo to Stout and Doubt for staying in this game. He really is staying in this game, and I can't believe that Sparks isn't going for this. Uh, that Sparks isn't going for this back town center and gold mine. He probably sees that. He's like, oh, duh. <laughs> he sees it now. And then, yeah, the citizens here are also dying. So it's going to be five. Oh no, Doubty, Doubty, five to one TCs. <laughs> I got you, Rose. Hope they are tasty. They are, man. They are. They are. They are. Is there any way Doubt can legitimately come back? I think no. Because eventually there's going to be um, a Balder. Eventually there's going to be a Balder. And how many... He does have full 100 villagers. Is that Balder? He went Thimble Winter! Oh, jeez. Ah! And there we have it, folks. Doubt go gets knocked out by Thor, by Sparks. Wait, but it's a best of three. Oh, but it's a best of three. I think it's a best of three. Oh my God, I think it's a best of three. Oh, I think it's a best of three. I think it's a best of three, not a best of one. Oh, no, I'm not playing, I'm just casting. I think it's a best of three. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go check. Let's go check. Let's go check. Let's look at the statistics and everything real quick. Man, pretty. That was a pretty nice game, man. Considering doubt is, I forgot. I think this is a best of three, right? Because round two fifty six is best of one. Round one twenty eight is a best of three. It's a best of three. That means it's doubt's map pick. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Sparks, I love you, but come on, Doughty! I at least want this game to be pushed to, the, to game number three. I'm a big Sparks fan, everybody. I'm a big Sparks fan. I may be a bigger Doubt fan, however. I may be a bigger Doubt fan. Ah, all right. Let's let's go out and let's see if let's go out and see if we can find their um, next game.